Yeah, hi guys, so I was just um, watching an old uh, John Costick video, Touch Uncle John, and uh, just, just not, not too long ago I've been looking into um, damsels and maidens and virgins and um, the bride and the differences between them. <coughs> so, um, yeah, I was looking at for if we believe that in Jesus, if that Jesus died and rose again, even so, them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. All right. So, as we know, we're looking at Matthew, Mark, and uh, Luke, and those of us who know what's going on there will understand what I mean. The different times that God's here, He can also bring the dead with Him. Uh, he went in and took took her by the hand and the maid arose okay damsel so you can see uh mark has has the damsel um and arise now you see here and straight away the damsel arose and walked for she was of the age of 12 years and they were astonished with great astonishment so um 13 is considered the time when you can get engaged or married 12 is too young as you're considered a virgin I'd say at that that age um, and the 144 are virgins um, so I just want to see what uh, this could have some deeper meaning or whatever so yeah so I was just looking at this one we'll just see what John's got to say all right this word Mokada Mokada why did he put a small mem there? That's what we want to know, right? Next. <coughs> Notice that the word mokeda is, it's the same as moked, but he puts a feminine hay on the end, right? And the word moked means burning. Well, they're, they're kind of related, aren't they? You could do that burning on a heart. Okay, next. And it even comes down further to the word yakad. Yakad means to burn. And you can see these two words, right, these two letters right here, they're the same. Right? The, the kuf and the dollar. Alright? Next. Now, the rabbi of Kotzik tells us that the small man is reduced in size to teach us that the fire in one's heart should be understated. It should burn within, but show nothing on the outside. It sounds like Jewish psycho Huh? Yeah, what? You know, I don't like his answer, the Rebbe of Kutzik. He does. Okay. <laughs> Next. Remember, Jesus said, or it was taught, said about Jesus, Behold, I have come in the scroll of the book that is written of me to do your will of God. So everything in the book has to point to Jesus. Right? So, next. The Rebbe of Caustic says, <laughs> The man is reduced in size to point us to him who was born of a virgin and conceived by the Holy Spirit. Uh, it's a good question. And I'm going to give you a good answer. And uh, here's the dates for the Rebbe of Caustic. And he's just a guy. Okay, now how what, well, how does that little mem point to Jesus? Next. Oh, what, is, what am I saying? It, it, it's not only point to Jesus, it's point to Jesus, born of a virgin, conceived by the Holy Spirit. All of that is going to be a yeah, little mem. Okay? Next. Okay, so here it is. Al Mokda is on a horse, right? Here's the Al Mokda. No problem. Next. Let's let's move the mem over to this side. Because in Hebrew, you can squeeze Hebrew together. And it is squeezed. Yeah. So we can move it there. In fact, we can push them together even. So 
okay? So it could be this. And this, next please, if I light up the ayin, the lamed, the mem, and the hay, I get the word alma. You see what I'm doing? I took all the letters, put them together. I'm taking the first, second, third, and last letter spells alma. And what is alma? It's a young maiden, right? It's, it says, what's the, uh, Isaiah 9, 6, you know, a, 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 a girl, a, 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 a virgin will conceive and bear a son, right? So there's that word Alma. Well, what letters are left? Next, we have a Vav, what's Vav? And, and we have the word Guth Dalet. We just saw that a minute ago, it means fire. And the fire, what is the fire? The Holy Spirit comes down as a fire. So, you have a picture here of a young virgin and the fire. Maybe that's what it's pointing to. Johnny, how cool is that? Okay, well, so, we have a look at Matthew. Um, Alright, so you have a look at a rose. Arise to sleep for wake. Okay, so it goes through the idea of re, um, of collecting one's faculties. All right, to awaken, to rouse. All right, and you got this G fifty eight. Um, any assembly, so um, joining an assembly or joining a group. All right, ecclesia. Okay, girl, damsel. Maiden. Well, there's only six, six times there, two there. Now Mark, same again. Damsel, same one. Through the idea of collecting one's faculties. Um, but it's also got tear and the damsel arose. So we'll have a look at arose. Uh, to raise up cause to be born. Yeah, so um, it's, it's very interesting. I, uh, I, yeah, I had a look at these two, 303, um, in the midst, in the midst of, among, so to join, to be in among. Um, to establish To a point, covenant, establish, hold up. Yeah, so interesting when you hit these words here, damsel and maiden. Um, that's what I was thinking, the 12-year-old virgin, maybe 144k along that line sort of thing. Um, but yeah, the Holy Spirit's being whacked, whacked into them and caused them to awaken and uh, start to know stuff. Something along those lines. Yeah, alright, God bless. Just something I was thinking about, I'd share. Thank you.